Hello again. Rainy Centenaries here. Today is March 24th, 2019, and this is video 6 in my own voice. On August 19, 2001, I wrote an article on the headline of A Shift in Earth's Spin Axis Will Announce the End of This World, which at the time was placed on the writing site of expertcolumn.com. It has in the meantime been erased, but not by ourselves. And this is what I said at the time. When Mother Earth speaks, the people always listen, as they have no choice in the matter, for at no time has her force ever not had their effect on the people when she speaks of, for instance, balance between sunshine and rain, for good harvesting, frost, heat, lightning, thunder, floods, droughts, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, hurricanes, tornadoes, or forest fires. Her loving voice lets people live in enjoyment of Earth's abundance in corn, rice, fruits, and resources, but her angry voice has often sent people back into their earthen graves. Today she also speaks in a whispering voice of events yet to occur rather suddenly near the end of approximately 20 to 30 years hence, only to see the den of noise from stock market racketeers, quarrels over money, exploding shells from man's stupid and not so stupid wars, and the roar from overloading high, overloaded highways and ring roads drown out her tender voice of warning to mankind, which tells them to prepare for the great and global evacuation because her skin will undergo a major shake-up, shake-out, body wash, and atmospheric purification by fire in order to cleanse herself from the pollution of mankind's never-ending corruption. And why is she not yelling out loud in light of the horrendous task ahead of washing her skin in water and fire, and the dire consequences contained therein for mankind? Simply because Polaris only silently screams to us from the sky to tell us of the fact that since 40 years ago, Earth's rotational spin axis has drifted slightly from its original location, and that this planet is now looking for a new rotational balance to settle down in. If the astronomers, scientists, and governments do not inform the people of the fact that the planet whereon they reside is placing them in extreme danger, then they are shirking their responsibility to the point of utter betrayal of mankind. I know that neither governments nor the scientists have a solution to this problem, and their remaining silent about it will not make the problem go away. The ice caps are melting unevenly, and are causing rotational imbalance. They begin to float on water and will eventually come sloshing down, destroying everything in their path. The accelerating wobble of Earth's spin axis will place the oceans into a momentum all of their own, not only assailing the continent's coastal regions, but eventually drowning them under mile-high tidal waves of water, pressing whole continents into the ground and in its wake causing ocean floors to rise out of the waters, forming new continents. <coughs> Magma tides will assist in reshaping the face of Mother Earth and when she has settled down on her newfound spin axis, then will the waters and the magma settle down also 
for a return back to calm. So far the article. Sometime later I wrote an appendix to this article saying, we have no power to prevent the unavoidable from happening. Therefore, the solution to this problem are a national house cleaning from corruption and greed, a cessation of all imperialistic wars, a restoration of paradise for the people, a frank and official sharing of information concerning this planet's state of affairs by all authorities with the people, and not in the least permission given to us to freely teach the people concerning the upcoming general evacuation along with other concepts necessary for all to know in order to make the global relocation of general mankind an unqualified success. Good night, but not goodbye, not yet. Today, March 24, 2019, I feel strongly that the general public needs to be made aware of cataclysmic events which lie ahead in our and our children's immediate future. No government agency will warn us, although theories are bandied around which say we have global warming. Others say we'll see another ice age. Others warn us about bees and insects dying in large numbers, which indicates that mankind's time is up, they say. And yet others say, we kill ourselves by poisoning our ocean waters with Fukushima-type leaking radiation. I'm not trying to dismiss these concerns, they are also mine. However, we need to grasp a bigger picture and that is a sudden and unexpected cataclysmic event which verily and truly can be called an event which brings about the end of this world as we know it. Thank you for listening. My arsenal for more and interesting videos is extensive. So expect, therefore, more videos yet to come from this source. And finally, wherever you are, good day, good evening, and good night. That is all for now.